All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're not already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review slash late review. Uh, I normally don't do them this late, so it'll probably be coming out for you guys tomorrow. But this is the review for the 2023 film called Spider-Man Cross the Spider-Verse. It's the sequel to the 2018 Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mouthful there. But here's the plot for this one. After reuniting with Gwen Stacy, Spider-Man, a.k.a. Miles, is cap cap captured across the multiverse where he encounters a team of spider people charged with protecting its very existence. However, when the heroes clash on how to handle the new threat, Miles finds himself against the other spiders. Here is some of the voice casts. Now, to be upfront with you guys, originally at the time when I watched the first one, I didn't like it. Because of how different the 3D animation was to me, and in general, animation in general was not my type of thing. So, but since then, I, I've gotten used to it, this type of animation quite a bit. Definitely has so many layers and different types of different world designs, which can easily take you off the off guard if you are not used to it. But to be honest, I did really, really enjoy this. It was so much better than I thought it would be going into this. Uh, it was a fun and funny film nonstop to watch. I was I was personally wasn't a fan of the music at times, but that's more of a nitpick. Even though they technically did fit each scene and helped set the mood and help push it forward. Definitely a great story, great characters, great throwbacks. The many different Spider-Mans was a bit hard to sink in. Same with half the scenes because of how fast the stuff was going. So much about this was great. So much stuff crammed into one. Uh, it's, only, it's going to be a day or two for to process all this for me personally. And there's so much layers of it, which is in the worst first half of the movie. Uh, it's over two hours long. Um, honestly, I could have, despite my dis dislike for three hour long movies, I could have uh, done, they could have done a three hour movie with this one and I, I wouldn't complain. But here's my rating. So what are your thoughts? As always, let me know down below. Did you like it? Do you love it? It does it hype. Does it go up to the hype that this is beginning? I personally think so. Uh, I definitely need to rewatch the first one. Uh, I was going to do it, but and do a re-re-review for it, but unfortunately, stuff got away from me, and I just been putting it off. And now I kind of need to watch this one, which I did, obviously, because um, I'm going to review for it, but. You know, I just didn't have time for it, unfortunately. But I can't wait for the third one. They definitely leave you on a big-ass uh, uh, hanger on there. Um, yeah, I, I and I don't know how, because of the SEGA word, uh, SEGA uh, um, protesting, I don't know how long we're just going to wait for this thing. Maybe someone knows. Let me know in the comments below if you hear anything recently. But yeah, uh, I definitely look forward to watching other reactors. Uh, I'm not I'm a reviewer, but uh, re re watch reactors uh, react to this because it's really, really good, and I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so that is all I got for you tonight. Um, uh, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Skull.